It's called Mountain Explorers. Brandon Abandoned, 6 4 Explorer, exploring Third Beck Stickland. I got an amazing spot for you guys here. We're in a little area that it's crazy busy. You normally don't, don't want to come around here, but we're in a $40 million mansion. It's getting demolished, so we've got to show you guys this. You know, I like to pop in and check out every single place. I know you guys are going to love it. This is going to be a long video, so get your popcorn ready and let's get exploring. All right, Explorers. Here's Greg over here, Uncapped Films. Make sure to check them out. <laughs> so first off, we're starting off here in this gigantic, gigantic living room with the most beautiful work on the ceiling too. Look at that. Like this room is gigantic. To show you a bit of the real nice not a whole lot of landscaping brickwork done, but you can see all the weeds all around it. Nobody's been here for a little bit. I'm here with Noah as well, so I'm gonna try and talk a little bit quiet. We are going to uh, hopefully not mess up anybody's, each other's videos. <laughs> Look at that fireplace. This is the front foyer. I hear Noah that way, so we're gonna go this way for a moment. Check out this gigantic kitchen. I love the marble. And it's good to see there's no, uh, there's no vandalism in here. Oh crap, that's a fridge. <laughs> I had no idea that was gonna be a fridge. It's warm. So I guess these are gonna be right. Your freezers. We got a little bit of food left. But that's awesome, eh? You can't even tell it's a fridge. The way that is built right in there. Wow. So you can see like everything's a little bit dated. I know the place itself was actually bought by the last owner in 2002. And since then, the guy lived in it of course, he took care of it, but then maybe about four years ago, he moved out, was still taking care of it, but then he eventually decided to let it go. So we're gonna check out the upstairs and the downstairs in a bit. We've got quite the big upstairs that we've gotta do, her main floor. Just a closet in there. Guessing this is gonna be your, your garage. Looks like the door's staying open. Ew. Kinda smells whatever that is leaking. There's a big giant TV sitting over there. There's a few of them in the house. Surprised they're still here and not demolished. <laughs> well, not got a hole kicked in it from vandalism. All right. I'm gonna keep cruising this way. On the way. This place is now even has an elevator. 
That's cool. There's no power. I doubt there's any water. But no way. That's a place got a secret elevator. How big these stairs are. The grand stairs. Hey, that's amazing. If you notice, it's got the the metal metal rods holding the carpet down. I like seeing that over staples. So here's your front door. Real big closet. But like, look at those. Look at those door handles. Those are beautiful. They're starting to get a little bit of a patina on them. Nobody's looked after them for a while. I love the old sheets. The old curtains. And again, look at the light cove and the ceiling work. It's beautiful. And just because this house doesn't match what the new property owner's style is, this house is going to get demolished and something even bigger, even more expensive is going to be put here. And that's crazy. Here we go for your wine. It's just a little side kitchen area. That way, so if you're cooking food in there, your maid can be out here. Or just somebody, it doesn't have to be a maid. But here, here's the other side to the elevator. There is two. If you got a double-sided elevator, that's quite good. And yeah, so you take a peek. There's the excavator. He's the guy that's gonna be tearing this place down, unfortunately. This is very cool. We got two bathrooms. Again, like just this place has detail all over it, everywhere. I think that's really cool. Love when people put care into their houses like that. Look at this sink. Yeah, no water. And even it's got marks and grooves and curves just like the ladies curves curves are sexy and here we go we got a guy's washroom his and hers i guess <laughs> the way that fiji water sitting there makes me feel like this is a like a resort <laughs> look at that gold and that was beautiful beautiful Somebody took the handles off. They must have been nice. Oof. Whatever somebody left in the bathroom or in the toilet there, that's not nice. All right. Now we come into here again. This gigantic area. And then we make our way down here. Oh, yeah, I never, I never noticed that up there. But check that out. We got a balcony that pretty much goes the whole way around. Look at that. And comes down the stairs. But also too, look how deep, how deep the ceiling is. Chandelier's gone. It must've been something really, really expensive and extravagant, but Oh, nice fancy office. But you can tell it's a bit old, eh? A bit dated because of the wood on the floor. You'd want it to be a little bit different than that, but you know me, I love books. I love libraries. I would love, I would love an office like this. I would be in heaven. Have a fire going as I'm doing my work. All my books and globes surrounding me. That's awesome. 
And like, look at this. It's like all the different fixtures are a different type of marble. I really like this one. There's a lot going on. And the little pillars. Like, beautiful. Beautiful. This would be a what a crazy house. Like that's nuts. Excavator just sitting outside. Wow. Look at this. It's like that area in Vegas where you're inside but it looks like you're outside. Wow. Holy crap. Just like even the way that the railings are painted to make it look like it's outside, it's weathered. I'd almost say like it's supposed to look like France. Or actually this guy, he, uh, the guy who lived here, he was European and he kept saying how he loved Europe. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be right. This is probably gonna, supposed to look like France. Uh oh, look at that again. Get out of here, excavator, you bully. <laughs> we don't need you breaking down houses. And like just the different tile. Wow. Holy. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in a house. As you can see, this, the roof, it's meant to look like clouds, right? It's all meant to look like you're outside. This is so cool. Even with the way it looks like the bricks coming out there. This is not amazing. Wow. This is amazing. The Moulin Rouge. Oh, you can see how the floor is a bit messy there. We got some water damage happening up there. Was the water damage happening right in the most beautiful part of the house, I'd say. I'm sure the back of the door is gonna look like it too. Right? Old look, 68. That's amazing. Now we got one more area on this main floor to check out. And we're gonna check it out in one minute. And I just wanted to throw it in there, everybody. If you guys liked it, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, make sure to share it with your friends. I'm trying to get my channel to grow and grow and grow, so please like it, subscribe it, hit those buttons. All right, so we're continuing here. You guys probably didn't even really see the break, but <laughs> I know it's there. And I always speak the size of this TV. But again, just woodwork. Beautiful woodwork everywhere. Like even the back <laughs> had good detail. Again, the curves to the wood. I wonder what this looks like closed up. You'd never know your TV's even there. And look at this. The top of this wood I'd say is about 6'2". Like that's beautiful, that's a gigantic fireplace. That's a fireplace made for me. All your old electronics and phones. Everything. Just 
It's huge. Like, that's just gigantic. And from here. All right, explorers. So we're going downstairs here. As you can tell, I came back to this cool room. I'm pretty sure there's another way to get to the basement, but I wanted to enjoy France one more time. I'm gonna start this way. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be the smaller way. Look at that. It's like a silicone paint and it's hanging down real weird. <laughs> oh, that door's stuck. That's weird. Holy crap. <laughs> so there is a pool here. We're gonna see if we can't get to it. But just look how big this area is. <laughs> like this is something you'd see. But I guess, yeah, in the bottom of a $40 million mansion. Like this is crazy. The guy that was messing around here, he had his bush. <laughs> Gotta have a drink, I guess. Like this is wicked. This is a basement. And I don't know where this goes. It just goes outside again. We're gonna close that up, keep us safe for the moment. Like, look at that giant chunk of steel. Like, that's iron. What's that supposed to be holding up? Oh, and this is gonna be where your pool was. That's a big pool. That's what's going on here. That's what this big wall is in the middle. That's your pool. And this is just all space going around it. Like I work in construction and I see stuff like this in like big commercial buildings. You don't see them in houses like this. That's aluminum. But oh wow, imagine how much you'd get for that. Aluminum's got a good scrap value. That's crazy. But like they kept this place so clean. This is just a little like storage area and just a spot to be able to maintain the pool. I mean, they've kept it swept and clean. Is that wet? Uh-oh. There's water leaking down here in a few spots. I'm not sure what that's gonna be all about. <laughs> like, what is this unit? Maybe it's like a single person hot tub from the other side. Just more storage, another ladder. All right, I'm digging it. I like it already. And all we've been in was the, uh, <laughs> the maintenance room. Now here we go. Man, I would have loved to been down here. <clears throat> have a bunch of friends over. Have some drinks going, music. Maybe even a movie going in the other room. This is huge. So we got this hiding in here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. We got her open. I love those things, man. Especially those ones that fold like that. I think I got 250. Look at this chunk of wood. For that chunk of wood, you could get a thousand. <laughs> Wood's expensive right now, and wow. Speaking of, look at the skeleton of woods on the ceiling. That's a gigantic log. And that's not even put together. That looks like it's one solid piece. Wow, holy, and over to the bar. This is nuts. I would have chosen a nicer tile, but you never know. You never know what that was all about. 
you win some, you lose some, you know? I like the stucco here. Put some texture onto the wall. It's always great to see. Again, this is a lot of wood. Little, little cabinets. But nothing left. This is really cool. For your different soaps over here. What are those three bowls for? If you know, put it down in the comments for everybody. It's just like if you've ever seen Demolition Man, it's like the three seashells. But instead we got the three gold bowls. <laughs> I like these pillars in the middle of the bar. I like how they're fat, not skinny. Um, <laughs> so I've been trying to figure out what this was as I was walking around. Do you guys, do you know what that is? Do you know what kind of creature this is supposed to be? See what I mean? Sitting like that. I'll tell you guys what this is at the end of the video. If you guys know, put it down in the comments. Let's see who can guess correctly. Okay. Let's start with this room over here. Wow. Now we step into carpet. It's kind of strange. Ooh, ooh. Look at this bad boy. Holy. Like that is a safe and a half. The Adanic security. That's really cool. Let's give this a turn. Ooh. So smooth. <laughs> That's a serious door. That's heavy. Wow. Ooh, yay. That's awesome. Wow. And a lot of the times, too, they bolt these things down to the ground and see how it was bolted to the wall back there? So a lot of the times it's worth just leaving it. Sometimes it's... Well, it's made, right? It's made to be bolted in so that it can't leave. Even if it's open, sometimes you still can't unbolt it. Very cool. Very cool. Again, look at the old lanterns, or the old lights. Then you got like brick down here, right? You can tell it's a basement holding up a heavy structure. Uh-oh, more water leaking over there. And more water starting to leak right here. Oh, that's awesome. They had their makeshift jail. This is nuts. Like, this whole place is crazy. Look at the oil. The oil dripping and leaking. That's pretty bad. That's weird. I wonder why there's so much. Now my boots are slippery. Good thing there's a carpet. Uh-oh. All right. Let's get myself out of this jail before Noah comes and locks the door on me. And this is, this is it. This is where I'd live from now on. If it was in the whole house, that'd be cool. But if it was just locked up in this cage, that wouldn't be too fun. Plus, it's getting demolished in a day. Maybe two, so... <clears throat> I don't want to be in here when that happens. <clears throat> Holy... The basement door but they tried to block it pretty sure that's just gonna go to the outside all the other doors seem to be going outside even on this level this is just a crazy storage room right glasses royal dalton dishes oh crap look at that we got a hidden room Oh, shite. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Let's just do this right away. This is so cool. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know. Wow. It smells wet. It smells damp. And then we come to this giant, giant steel door. Thank God it's open. 
And then we come out here. I don't even know where here is. <laughs> but we made it. We made it here. Look, I was gonna say how damp it smells. At some point, somebody, they had the dehumidifier going. Well, the vents are open over here. What in the world? Holy cripes. Just a little storage area. But can I show you guys something? So look, right, we got a toilet. We got a sink. We got this little area here with this crazy, crazy pump. This stuff I've never seen before. But look, so we've got a shower in here, right? So this little door opens. And do you see how far down that goes? So each section of pipe's probably about 10 feet and I see three and a half sections. That's just going right under the street, under the ground? I don't understand. Do you guys, you can see that down there? I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll crawl down there, we'll see. That's got me very interested. But that's amazing. <laughs> like the only way to get through here. The only way to get here is through that secret hallway, this way. Wow, this is amazing. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a house. An extra crazy hidden room like this. Are you nuts? <laughs> that is so absolutely cool. Let's close that up so nobody will know. So guys. Noah pointed out that this area that I found, the little secret spot, it's a bomb shelter. It's pretty much a panic room. And it makes sense, we got our little washroom. We got the way to get out to the street if we ever have to. But these are all tanks of water. Tanks of water, tanks of oxygen. That's why the door was so big and that's why it's hidden. This is a straight up panic room. Man, oh man. That's what this is. That's why this door, there's no getting through that. That's just amazing. What's in this door? <laughs> Do we got more magic areas? No. Guys, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, look, we got the elevator here. So it's awesome, you get to the elevator from every floor. <laughs> Look at for their food. They even had an industrial freezer. It's big, it's clean. I bet you that there's gonna be a lot of things taken out of this house. I doubt they'll just destroy that freezer. That will probably for sure get taken. <laughs> Look how old these are. Older than 2002? If you guys know, let me know. Cause that's, <laughs> that's really weird. I guess it's a, this is a laundry machine. Yeah. It's just, it's like a mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be another laundry room. That's not the, that can't be the laundry room for the full house. No, I do not think so. Just storage everywhere. But you always notice rich people and their houses like this, they always have tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Just random crap. This is cool. Look at this, eh? 1984 Chardonnay. Got the 1986 Cabernet. Alsace? <laughs> Spatlis? <laughs> I know 1983, but that's cool, eh, for all of your wines, and we got St. Julian, 1979, the Lost Combs, wow, here we got 75, we got 71, man, I should know how to pronounce that, 
<laughs> but I'm not even gonna try right now. This is cool. Now this is a this is a wine cellar. He's even got this so he can keep the temperature proper. It's like a fridge. This is amazing. Man, this guy knew what he was doing. This guy knew how to how to put rooms in a house. Holy. So I thought this was gonna be like a sauna, but nope. Just a little closet area. Well, not little. Big enough that I can fit in here and not touch either wall. There we go. Here's the stairs to get there. And then from here, I think we just go up these stairs. Okay, guys, check I just want to show you this. So I missed a room from the spot with the uh, the hidden door. Watch this. Come down this little ramp. We got a washer. But look at this. This guy had a full music studio. A full music studio. Is that not wicked? It smells cool in here. Man, I wonder what artists were in here. Can you hear me? Because I can almost not hear myself. It's so well -y, perfectly insulated in here that my voice to me sounds muffled. Wow. Mm. I don't know why. I'm sorry. It just smells very cool in here. It smells nice. Mm. Now, this is some serious professional studio. It's huge, too. <laughs> That's sick. What an awesome room. I'm so glad that I seen this. If I'd have missed it, I would have been quite upset. Wicked. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys, so I missed this room, so let's just do this real quick. We've got a sauna. It smells beautiful, but the roof looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> like the tile's kind of nice here. But look how ugly the wallpaper is. <laughs> and again, a nice double person. Well, <laughs> I guess a lot more than a double person. You could probably fit 10 people in here. What's going on, explorers? This is beautiful. <laughs> we got a phone. But right, if you're gonna be hanging down here for a while, this is your sauna, shower. So yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be hanging down here for a long time. You gotta have your phone. Plus the phone, it'll talk to uh, it'll talk to the people upstairs. Hey people, I know what these are now. <laughs> Was that how I just walked through? Yeah, that's sweet. This is, this might be one of my favorite little areas in the house. Saunas, bathroom, so cool. All right, my friends. So I just did a bunch of running around, doing some pictures and some videos, talking to Noah. <clears throat> but what do you say, should we just take the, the maid's entrance all the way up? I don't see why not. Since it's at one complete end of the house. How, how do you imagine you'd open that up? It's kind of weird. Love the old style locks. Serious heavy duty. A sexy washroom.
I like that's fancy. They've got the gold ropes to tie to tie the curtains up when you're not using them. Oh. Huh. This bar has seen better days. Look how high up that goes. Normally they wouldn't tile it all the way, but that's cool. Little gold accents. <clears throat> this would be like maybe a small, you had a TV or something up there, right? So maybe this was a small little maid's area. Hello. Sometimes I like looking in closets just to see if somebody's going to be in there. Somebody's squatting and we found them. Nope. Nobody here. I guess it's a good thing though. Very, very cool. I'm going to keep cruising this way. Whoopsie. <laughs> That just fell out of the door. Maybe that's why he's demolishing this place. The whole damn thing's falling apart. <laughs> no, I'm just straight joking. But it's funny how that happened, no? And it's beautiful, beautiful. Every light, everything's got beautiful detail. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Look at that, we even got a, f a little loft up there. So we're gonna check that out soon. Well, I guess the loft is gonna be the main bedroom. And this looks like it's gonna go even up to his bedroom because it's got another floor button going up. Look at the natural light and beautifulness in this room. Holy. And it's got the nice metal. But wow, wow, this is the first light, like room with actual nice light in it. I'm surprised. And then into a dark bathroom. Very modern, this bathroom though. I prefer the way the rest of the house has been. I liked the old fixtures, old washrooms, the way they looked. I like this green tile though, that's nice too. <laughs> Bugs. Always seems to be a lot of bugs in the bathtub. They fall in and they can't crawl out. Yeah, look, that's a little too modern, no? Almost looks a little. Uh, I guess maybe it could be nice, but I almost think that's a little more ugly. Ugly than nice. Oh, that's a closet. We're not going in there. Check this out, everybody. Here's the money shot. And I'll stop and show you. Again, look how deep, look how deep that ceiling detail is. Holy. Oh, well, and then we get to some stairs here. That's Greg's. <laughs> Don't think it's just some, some random. Is that not cool? We did the walk all the way around and it brought us to here. So we'll check this room out. Some serious cables coming out of the wall there. Holy. We got another phone with one of those little weird dials. Look at that. That's one crazy remote. Battery's dead in the remote too. So it's been a while then, right? If even the remote is dead. Nobody's been here for a while. Look at that. More beautiful detail. Wow. That is cool. See what I mean? This is nice. I like this style over, what was that? Like the new modern look. I like this a lot better. 
This feels like royalty. The other one, not so much. Let's step right in here. Nice big shower. Gold. Gold details everywhere. That's so nice. So nice. Just got a closet. The vines are starting to grow in through the windows so that they don't have it sealed too well. Look at that. Again, these are all such high ceilings, luxurious. I'm tall, my head's always close to a ceiling. So when I can get into a house like this, beautiful. Like this is amazing. It's even got the seashells up there. Everywhere, everything. Everything's got detail. They didn't leave nothing out. This is cool. So this would have been a girl's room, I'm sure, because normally isn't that what these are? Don't they go around your bed like a uh, like a princess drapery, something like that, right? You get to sleep underneath it. It looks all nice. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what that is. I want to show you what the, the roof looks like. It's got the old school shingles. <laughs> like, look how awesome that is. It's starting to starting to look a little rough. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what's going to happen to this house because it's not going to be long. Oh, yeah. See a different shade. I can definitely see this being a girl's room. Nice shower again. Nice hole in the wall. Too bad somebody put this in here. That should that should be hanging up as well. Out here somewhere. Okay. We're gonna go in there in one minute. Look at this. I guess this would be your main bedroom then. A little small spot here. Maybe a little uh, little office area. And then a door to go there. You're gonna see what that leads to. I like this different level here. How it goes around like that. Again, just adds a little touch of class. Here we got our windows. What a nice room, it's huge. And you know what? It smells like maple syrup. <laughs> and I love me some maple syrup. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's just do a close look at this. I don't know why I'm walking by it so fast. We got cherubs and an old man's face. See the cherubs with the wings on the sides too? These guys here. It sucks, people have been smoking in the house. Leaving, leaving cigarette butts all over the place. This place has a really big backyard. Really big. You can tell it would have looked real nice landscaped, but look how the grass is starting to look quite ugly. But those stairs there, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, holy. And you can open the door too. You can have some fresh air coming in. Your stained glass window. 
I've never seen it like that before, but that's really cool. Really, really, really cool. Someone's taking all the mirrors and those lights, maybe. The person who moved out liked them. Another shower. Surprise, this shower in here is not bigger. This is the main room and it's gonna be for you and your wife. I'd assumed it would have been a little bit bigger. <laughs> Look at this. Now these are gonna be empty. So they've taken everything out of the house. But someone's drew, drawn different flowers on every door. And then look at this. You'd think there'd be like a little, maybe a little makeup table right here, but no. This is just for you to walk. There's B. What's going on, explorers? Is that not cool? Oh, wow. I almost tripped backwards off of that step. Be careful, people. When you're filming, you still got to take care of yourself. Not awesome. Let's go back one more time. Let's enjoy this whole bathroom. Part of the bedroom. This is just nuts. So much room. This stained glass window. That's heavy duty. That's serious. Imagine that was actually made of gold. I'm sure the guy who owned the house would have taken it. I'm back out to this bedroom. All right, everybody. So where this door leads is also where we go through here. All right, so before we go over there, I wanna check out this fourth floor real quick. Curious just how big it's gonna be. But <laughs> the elevator comes all the way up. It's a little tiny crawl space over there. <coughs> Another nice room. Just a little storage. Since we're getting close to the attic, right? Got to put the stuff somewhere. But this is real nice carpet. It's very thick. You can feel it. It's nice. And the detail, beautiful. It's not a closet, nothing inside. A taped off toilet. <laughs> That's more storage for the uh, AC and all that kind of stuff, heaters. Wow. Another beautiful little living area. Is that not really cool? If this is a washroom, maybe it's another room. Yeah, a fancy bathroom too. That's real nice tile. Oh, and it's 3D, look at that. Isn't that cool? It actually, it actually bubbles out. Sweet. And just more little closet areas. This is real nice. They put a lot of attention into all the different fireplaces, which is very, very cool. <laughs> I actually called it the fireplace this time instead of a uh, instead of a barbecue. We're improving. You hear that, viewers? I got one last room. This is really cool. Look at this. Not just the bathroom with the nice tiles. 
What's going on, explorers? Oh, okay, I thought this was like an old cabinet, an old shelf or something like that. I was wrong. Just like a little maintenance room. Not much going on. I thought those were stairs, but they're not. Oh, but there is. There's this ladder leading to here, but it just takes you to your attic. There's nothing going on. Nothing going on. And it's actually quite, quite hot up here. It wasn't hot in the other area. Let's just see what's over here for a minute, eh? Just another gigantic spot. So I'm gonna come down, just so that I can turn around to get myself out of here. Beautiful. All right, well, oh, we are gonna go back to that one last room. All right guys, so remember I was showing you this room off of the main bedroom. And you'll remember these beautiful dark cabinets, which there's nothing left, but it smells like a real nice fancy cologne up here. Probably from, from the man when he was still here. He'd be getting dressed, putting on his fancy clothes. Like, look at this beautiful marble, purple now. Like, just so cool, the detail of this house. The floor, how do you find marble like that? Because trust me, I want some. So right here, this is what seems to be getting everybody all excited. A little small storage room. With nobody. I gotta remember to start opening the left first. The left seems to be the one that doesn't have the hook. I wonder if this wood helps your clothes stay stay fresher and nicer. Maybe he just liked the smell because he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of wood in the closets. But look at this. This is amazing. We got a gigantic, gigantic indoor pool. Is that not nuts? Check this out. And hey, look at that. I was right. It is a one person sauna or a hot tub. Look at these circle stairs. Well, they they move a little bit with my weight on them. It's weird. It's like carpet. <laughs> Look at this. Look how big and beautiful this room is. Holy crap! Remember how the other door was locked? in the French room. Look at that nice stone. Well, I didn't think we were gonna be able to get in here because that would be that door right there. But they had to work around. Yeah, see? That was a pretty good guess, eh? I had a feeling. And this is more than just a hot tub. An aerotone bath. So you can go hot, you can go cold. I'd love that. I'd love extreme cold. I love cold bath, cold showers. We still got some water in here, but it's not a lot. What are those things on the bottom? I like the stone. Is this not amazing? Holy. And they got the big speakers up there, so we had some music going. And the lights for when it was dark. <laughs> what a killer spot. What an amazing $40 million mansion. Oh, <laughs> good thing I got my boots on. So they're, they're waterproof as high as I just stepped in, luckily. See, no damage. 
I didn't see it all the way up there. This water's clear, clear and clean, but wow. That is a gigantic pool. And we'll go back up this side. Again, not a big fan of the carpet, but hey, I guess it can help, right? That way you're not slipping if you're running. All right, I don't mind it. As long as you just keep it dry, keep it clean. Hey, this is amazing. So this is my fourth indoor pool now. You guys have seen two for sure. And then there's the stairs back up. I didn't realize how high they were. That's actually really cool. This is sweet. Can enjoy how high these ceilings are. Nothing in this house was was done cheap. They took care of everything, every bit of detail. This is just mind blowing. Again, the fact that because it doesn't match the style of somebody that wants to move into this property, it gets demolished and something else gets built here. But like, who, who wouldn't be happy to have this house? That's just absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, so I didn't even think about it, but let's do a little bit of the outside here, eh? While we're all coming out. Such a big house. Look, look how amazing this is. Look at it, like it's gigantic. And it goes even higher than that. Even bigger. And just to show you a bit here. Remember, we looked out the window, but just look at this. This house is at a reasonably close, but there's so many trees and stuff here that they're not gonna see us. And a really cool thing about this house, so you drive around to the back of the house to park your car in one of the four garages. I'm gonna come down here quickly. I know Noah's gonna be taking a picture, so we'll get out of his way. But like, this is, this is like something out of Alice in Wonderland. I love fairy tales, I love fairy tale worlds. I just, I love it. I would be so happy if I was somewhere fairy tale. I'm European and that's where most of them start. And I just look how far down it goes. You could keep going. This place would have been beautiful when it was landscaped. But as of now, just getting a little, a little overgrown, a little overtaken. Gigantic house. All right, explorers, what a cool spot, eh? I know you guys love this place. $40 million, eh? I'm tempted to squat here and just make sure that the excavator can't take this place down. And as long as I'm here, it'll live and we can just have parties every single night. So in there, remember, I wanted you guys to comment that little thing down on the bar in the basement. Who knew what it was? If you guessed it was a candle, you guys are correct. I'm trying to throw little fun things in. I know you guys are smart. I'm pretty sure you all got it, but I just like to throw that out there. You know what I mean? Thank you all for coming on this trip with me. This was absolutely amazing. The sun's just starting to come out. The Jays are going to be playing in about half an hour. Ghost Jays go. Like it, subscribe it, share it, comment. Thank you all for your love, for your support. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one. And it's going to be soon, and it's going to be amazing. Ciao for now. We will rise from the ashes. We will rise. Go.
Time to solve, man. 